In this video, we'll learn about yoga history. Yoga has become quite trendy these days as practitioners in their yoga pants and mat head toward the popular yoga studios to attend their weekly yoga session. What many of these fashionable yogis probably are unaware of is the long history of yoga dating back to ancient times in India and its spiritual roots. Most of what we think of as yoga only dates back 150 years. While people today practice yoga for their health, its roots are entwined in rich spiritualism that took a lifetime to master. For ancient yogis, yoga was a way of life. Mention of yoga first appeared around 1500 BC in Hindu literature. The first writings in the traditional Sanskrit, the term yoga, which means yoke, frequently refers to a dying warrior rising to heaven and reaching a higher power. The original concept of yoga was clearly to elevate those who deserved it to a higher level, to connect the individual to the universe as a whole. For ancient Buddhists, yoga wasn't even a specific discipline. It grew out of the desire to attain spiritual goals and controlling both the mind and the body to achieve this. These spiritual leaders recognized that man is fallible, but always capable of improvement by changing dysfunctional thinking. They recognized the power of the mind to bring about inner peace and alleviate suffering by broadening individual consciousness and becoming open to new ideas. They already understood the basics of the mind-body connection. Yoga, including meditation, was and still is a quest for knowledge. Ancient practitioners thought correctly, as it turns out, that knowledge would lead to a higher level of consciousness and existence. Old writings describe several levels of being, with increasing knowledge bringing the practitioner to a next higher level. It was viewed as a process for which many encompassed a lifetime of learning. Yoga, the physical part of gaining enlightenment, was to prepare the way to meditation, which was spiritual in nature. The physical side of yoga began to emerge around 500 A.D., by the 3rd century, yoga was an accepted Buddhist practice involving a spiritual quest through meditation. This is the classical period where the writings of Vyasa introduced the all-important yoga sutras, which lists yoga as a precondition for a higher existence. For several centuries, the practice of yoga became an accepted practice to attain important personal values, although it was still far from today's set of poses. More meditative, it was intended to help transcend human suffering and rise above it. It was also used to broaden or deepen consciousness as a path to personal enlightenment. Yoga was seen as a means to overcome destiny and regain control of the self. The beginning of training and controlling the mind is clearly emerging. Up to the 15th century, while the West was in a state of constant strife and war, Eastern Buddhism focused on peace of mind. The difference between a Western and Eastern mind is becoming more noticeable. By this time, the emphasis of yoga shifts from transcending pain to reaching a higher plane of existence. Man himself is to become a deity. By the 8th century, Hatha Yoga, a mix of poses and meditation, came into practice. It's the beginning of modern yoga as we know it today. Modern Yoga Yoga, the old spiritual quest of Buddhism, didn't reach the West until the 19th century. This coincided with an interest in Indian culture as a whole due to the bourgeoning spice trade. Western culture became intrigued by the writings of Swami Vivekananda, a monk who traveled to Europe and introduced the intelligentsia to Buddhist spiritual writings, especially the 4th century Yoga Sutras, which involved clearing the mind of unwanted thoughts and learning to focus on one thing. Yoga as we know it today became popular in the U.S. in the 1940s when young Americans began to take yoga classes. By the 1980s, the known health benefits of yoga increased its popularity, although the practice was seen as more physical than spiritual by the majority of the practitioners. By the 21st century, the devotees of American yoga have increased from 4 million at the turn of the century to 20 million by 2011. This increase in popularity is mainly due to the increased scientific studies of the numerous benefits of yoga, especially the alleviation of stress. 
whether spiritual or not, people want to increase their health. Many people, however, still seek both mental and physical elevation. Yoga offers both. While mastering the physical aspects of yoga is important, it's equally crucial not to lose sight of the spiritual benefits. Yoga is more than posting adorable selfies on Instagram. Thousands of years ago, yoga was a preparation for the spiritual enlightenment of meditation. It was intended to prepare and relax the body for meditative practice. It's important not to lose sight of that. To achieve your spiritual side, keep in mind the seven spiritual laws of yoga. 1. You have unlimited potential. The purpose of yoga is to reach a high level of consciousness. 2. The universe is filled with abundance. To receive, learn to give. 3. Understand the universal law of cause and effect known as karma. Your actions, whether positive or negative, will be returned in equal measure. 4. Don't resist life's forces. Your desires will manifest themselves when you least resist. 5. Be clear on what your desires and intentions are. 6. Stop struggling and remain open to all opportunities that come your way. 7. Know what your true purpose in life is. Meditation, which will be discussed in the final chapter, will help you achieve the spiritual laws of yoga. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz.